Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Mark Nsangin from Techno Buffalo, and today we'll be checking out some of the new changes in iOS 9 Beta 4. Now, we've done several videos showcasing some of the newer features in iOS 9, so if you guys haven't seen those yet, make sure to check that out over here. With iOS 9, Apple is adding a bunch of new features to build on iOS 8, with the addition of a smarter Siri, an all-new news app, and true multitasking for the iPad. iOS 9 brings a lot of cool features that promise a more enjoyable experience overall, so let's go ahead and take a look at what's changed in iOS 9 Beta 4. One of the things that was missing in the latest public version of iOS, iOS 8.4, was Apple's home sharing feature, which essentially allows you to share your iTunes media library to your computers in your house. In iOS 9 Beta 4, this feature is now available, just as Apple promised. In iOS 9 Beta 3, we noticed that there was a bug that prevented us from using the volume buttons as a camera shutter, but thankfully that's been fixed in Beta 4. Moving on, inside of Apple Music, pulling up information on a song or an album, you're now greeted with a larger artwork. Additionally, you can easily heart a specific song or album, create a station, and share. Moving on, Apple's podcast app now supports a picture-in-picture -picture feature when playing a video and multitasking on an iPad. A nice touch and makes a stronger case for the iPad as a main productivity device. In iOS 9, Apple also updated Handoff's UI. Instead of displaying a card along with your other apps in an app switcher, there's now a banner that'll pop up in the bottom which you can either slide up or tap to activate Handoff. Now moving on to the smaller changes in iOS 9 Beta 4, the notifications icon inside the settings app changed from gray to red, and I think that looks nicer in my opinion. Now if we go ahead and go into the spotlight search settings, there's now an option to disable Bing web results. Moving on to the Notification Center, there are new icons for the iPhone and Apple Watch on the battery widget. Now, Last but not least, Apple now allows users to turn off quick access to Apple Pay. Now, When your device is locked in iOS 9, there was a feature that allowed users to get cards or passes ready from the lock screen by double clicking the home button. Now you can revoke access completely when your device is locked. And that's about it. If there are any major changes in iOS 9 betas, we'll be sure to keep you guys in a loop over at technobuffalo.com. And if you guys enjoy this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up, and we will see you guys in the next one.